Jenna O'Reilly, five-time AVA champion, right? Uh, how important is the Haringey Box Cup to you? Um, I have to win it <laughs> because I've won all my ABAs, so I can't afford to lose anything, really. Yeah, and it's, it's quite hard getting bouts for you, isn't it? Uh, most of the girls pull out. Like this morning, a couple of girls pulled out on the scales. They weighed in fine, their weight was fine, and they pulled out. But the reason is they're injured. But if, I believe if you was injured, you wouldn't have turned up in the first place. Right. And is there anyone who you know who's in your division who you're looking out for at this competition? Um, in the final, I've got the Scottish champion, and then in the sorry, and then in the semis, I have um, someone from Chadwell. So when was the last time you boxed? Because you must have been out of the ring for quite a while. Eight months in the Europeans last year. Right. So is it going to be is it going to be quite difficult sort of shedding the ring rust, or are you looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to it because I've done all my training, done all my sparring, prepared for it. So I just see what happens. And after the box cup, do you have anything else coming up? Are there any other internationals? Um, I'm going to call out a couple of the GB girls to box to see if they box me this year. They won't box me last year, so. And, but have you been up to GB and got any sparring there? Um, I went up GB f just for the training for the Europeans and things like that, and sparred a couple of them. And that's about it, really. And I sparred them at um, European trials for this year, and that's all they've offered, really. What did you make of like the GB setup or the ring? It's a brilliant setup. I do want to be in the GB on a box for GB on a box for my country, but I just need them to give me the chance and opportunity. What are your sort of ambitions overall in the sport? Like, what do you what do you want to achieve? Um, I want to be able to box for my country and hopefully go to the Olympics. I love amateur. I love being an amateur. I just want to uh, do everyone proud. Yeah, and watching the Olympics last year, I mean, how inspirational was that whole event? Um, it's been. I was there at the Olympics carrying the flags. Um, I done Casey Taylor's final. I've done all the men's as well. Um, it was a good experience. It just made me realise that I want it even more. And obviously, I mean, you must have watched Katie Taylor a lot. So what was it like sort of walking her out into the Olympic ring? It was brilliant. After the first round, she was losing, believe it or not. And then she, she got it back. She, she, seemed re like she seemed really nervous. Uh, I think the nerves got the better of her to start off with, but then she uh, pulled, uh, pulled the fight back. What did you make of just how loud it was when uh, when she was on? Um, it seemed that the girls had more cheering than the men. The atmosphere was better for the ladies than the men. Did you ever expect to see something like that? No, because loads of people were against girls boxing. Um, and then obviously they've changed their minds. I mean, have you ever found any anyone sort of opposed to you taking up boxing or getting involved in it? Not really. Everyone sort of keeps their opinions to themselves. So that's it, really. Well, you must be hoping what the, you know, Rio 2016 or whatever, wherever it is in 2020 is the same atmosphere as, as London 2012. Hopefully, I just either, hopefully I get to the next Olympics and hopefully you stay amateur and turn to the one after. Hopefully. Well, thank you very much and best of luck.